Hey guys, what's up? What's poppin'? Somebody give me a 5 for 5 in there. We're gonna get going. This is gonna be really, really quick. Because I'm doing another live stream here in about 10 minutes. Um, I'll probably come back here later on and give you guys a better update. But I wanted to pop out here real quick and let you know what's going on. Um, we did get hit with a unexpected geomagnetic storm. Um, we They were forecasting one for tomorrow. Or, yeah, tomorrow. Um, but this is happening because of magnetic uh, cracks in our magnetic field. Okay? And that could have been caused from CMEs. Could have been caused from really just about anything. But typically what you're seeing is magnetic connection lines that are moving in opposite directions at different heights. And, they, and when they cross, it'll cause these cracks. And when these cracks happen, and it happens all the time, but that doesn't usually do this. Okay? So we've got geomagnetic storm conditions. We went in and popped back, went down, popped back in. I look for us to do it again, um, probably tomorrow, maybe even tonight. Right now, currently, we are not in those conditions. So just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know that this did happen. There was some more flaring going on. We're not really going to go into that right now. Um, but there was a, a solar tornado. So let me uh, show that to you real quick. And um, I think I got over Yeah, right here. Um, th this is some pretty cool stuff. This this uh, solar tornado is five times taller than the Earth. Okay, put that in, in perspective there a little bit, guys. <laughs> Check it out. Um, it's crazy um, how, you know, how big things are and how small we actually are. Uh, we don't typically think about it in that terms, but that's usually, uh, if you just sit back and think about it for a minute, that's what you see, right? So it's up here. And it's a filament release, but what you're going to see is it's going to turn into a solar tornado. See that? See it spinning? Now that's not wind. That's plasma moving on a magnetic connection line. Okay, I've explained that before here, but you can see how the, the other filament was on this side and this side. So that's all one filament, and what's happening is it's, it's, it's erupting. That is not coming at us, um, but that did happen. Um, it's very cool stuff. Just wanted to show that to you. Actually, if you go here to spaceweather.com, they've got some really cool stuff over here um, talking about that too. They're talking about the Venus-Jupiter Venus con uh, connection there. Here's their capture. Um, I'm not going to stay on that picture a whole lot because I want you guys to be able to go over and give these guys some traffic if you could. Look at all these numbers. Those are all sunspots. And, um, and I'm going to point this out real quick like too. Guys... Sunspot numbers. Okay, predicted for this month would be 37. That's what was forecasted. You want to know how many we've already had and we still got a few days left in the month? 126. So if that don't just blow your forecasting right out the door, I don't know what does. Um, that's going to bust over 130, probably, maybe even close to 140. And again, to put that in perspective, during solar maximum last sun cycle, the highest it got was 146. So, yeah, we're not even in solar max. So just keep that in mind, guys. That's a big discrepancy, in my opinion. They, they really messed this prediction value up. And, and I'm not trying to say... That's a hard thing to forecast, right? I get it. You know what I'm saying, guys? I really, truly, honestly get it. But at the same time, man, that's a big miss. <laughs> and those the, the other scientists that were talking about it, man, I'm telling you, they, they stepped out of what mainstream was trying to say it was going to be and said it was going to be more active. And um, they were correct. Uh, there's no other way to say that. But this is another eruption that happened uh, that went off the backside. So let's go to the next day here. This is the 27th. If this is even going to load, who knows, man? I tell you what, the internet right now is just blowing bad. Um, it is. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I've had more internet issues today than I've had in a long time. Uh, but here's Stereo A, our side view. That right there is that filament release. Okay, and then another one happened over here. You see this one? That one there is actually going off to our right. Neither one of these are coming at us. Okay, but that's significant. This is significant stuff. 
right? And the sunspot that's down here in the southern hemisphere is rotating in. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, but yeah, so look at the sun right now. Look at this. I mean, there's there's this is a bunch of sunspots, coronal holes. We're going to be getting wind from that. I mean, we got space weather coming, guys. And I, you know, I don't know how else to say that. But here's your solar tornado. As I, uh, I want to show that to you one more time. Actually, let's just grab it and run it back here. Um, there's other stuff happening too on the sun, guys. And again, I'll probably come back on and give you guys another update. You guys see that little shake? That makes me wonder if we took a hit because the satellite shook there for a minute. And this satellite's just outside our atmosphere. So, and then we then we have this. So that whatever caused this satellite to kind of jolt there a little bit possibly could be part of what's causing the magnetic, uh, the cracks in our magnetic field. Okay? Um, it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's 100% because it's not 100%. Right? Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to be going over here right now. Um, if you guys would, please come over here. I could really use your guys' support tonight. Um, I'm going to be sharing a story about myself, about, yeah, um, you guys can read that, right? Um, I don't even like saying the word, but it's very uncomfortable for me, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's going to help people. Um, so here is the, here's the link there, guys. Um, please come support me. I'd really appreciate to get a lot of you guys over there just to come check us out and see my story on this. This is uh, something I haven't shared with a whole lot of people. And I'm going to come out on the internet just so I can help others. And um, I really hope you guys um, will come check me out here. Uh, it's over on the lifeboat, obviously. But um, this is a big, big issue around everywhere. Um, but I'm going to share what happened with my situation and how, you know, the worst didn't happen. Um, and I'll tell you how close I got. So <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. Um, but yeah, guys, so there's your space weather update, short and sweet to the point. But I want to tell you guys that um, I'm going to probably come back on after my other live stream here. So please come come check us out over here, guys. Um, it, would, it would mean the world to me. It really would. Uh, you know, so anyway, that's where I'm going to be. Hope you guys come over and check me out. And um, I'll come back on and give it because all this stuff happened at once, guys. So I'm sorry that. It ended up being kind of quick like this. If I had more time, I would stick around, but I don't. Um, but again, I'll come back later and most likely with an update. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys uh, come check me out over here. And um, we're going to go ahead and pop off. So God bless. See you guys in just just five minutes. That's when this other live stream starts. <laughs> God bless. Yahusha saves. And uh, yeah, you can drink.